So the general idea for these problems is that they're problems of the form the square root of n plus or minus 2 root n minus 1. That's really, all of these problems seem to have this form. And uh, let's see if we can, let's see if we can simplify this in the general case. So um, let's start off with the square root of n plus 2 root n minus 1. And this is just, well, the n can be broken up to 1 plus n minus 1. Okay, so n minus 1 plus 1 is just n. And then we leave, um, we, we just leave the middle as, as is, 2 root n minus 1. And, of course, we put that under a square root. So now we have uh, the next line. We just have the square root, turning this into a perfect square, 1 plus the square root of that term, the square root of n minus 1. And that's equal to what? It's equal to, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgot to square that. This whole thing underneath the square root is itself a perfect square. We're taking this and we're squaring it to get this. And so we're just factoring it back. And now we just have, uh, sorry, the square root of a square is just 1 plus root n minus 1. So these, so this is simplified in the general case. Okay. Um, second one is what about uh, the square root of n minus 2 root n minus 1. These are very similar problems. So we have n and we have n minus 1 added together. And here we have a subtraction, 2 root n minus 1. And here we have, oh, sorry, got to put that under a square root. And here we have the makings of a perfect square. I'm going to put that in brackets. So that we have this, we have, uh, sorry, this is 1, not n, 1. So 1 plus n minus 1 is n, which, which checks out, okay? So the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of n minus 1 is n minus 1. And because we have a minus sign in the middle, we've got to put a minus sign here. And we got the square root of n minus 1, treating, you know, pretending that's a perfect square. And this whole thing is squared. So this squared gets what's underneath that square root. So to make them equal, I, I have to put this under a square root. And the square root of a square is nothing more than 1 minus the square root of n minus 1. And so now these are, now that is fully simplified. Suppose we were told to simplify um, the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2. So, notice that this one's a strange one because it's got a root 2 underneath another square root. So, this is a rather strange one to have to simplify. But, this one is actually kind of like a square root, uh, not a square root, but a perfect square in disguise. So, let's look at the expression underneath the, the, uh, the uh, square root. So, 3 is 1 plus 2. And the 2 root 2, the negative 2 root 2, we can just keep as negative 2 root 2. The 1 and the 2, we can break up and have this expression. Um, 1 minus 2 root 2 plus 2. Okay? So now, this actually, this expression is actually the same as this expression. All we did is, all we really accomplished is break up the 3 into 1 plus 2. We got the minus 2 root 2 in the middle. Now that, this expression 1 and 2 don't exactly look like perfect squares, but in reality um, we can say that the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 2 over here is root 2. There's a minus sign in the middle, so we're going to say 1 minus root 2 all squared. 
So simplified, we take the square root of a square, those cancel, and so we have 1 minus root 2. Uh, oh, we don't need the brackets anymore, I suppose. But this is, this is the way it ends up. Let's check our work. So when it was 1 minus 2 root 2 all squared, can we get this expression from here? Well, 1, one squared is 1. Uh, and negative root 2 times negative root 2 is definitely positive 2. And then 1 times negative root 2 plus 1 times negative root 2 is negative 2 root 2. So we do get this after checking our work. And we already know we can get back to the regular expression by saying 1 plus 2 is 3. So it is kind of a neat little thing, a neat little way of simplifying um, these sorts of problems. All right, here's another one, 4 plus 2 root 3. And I'm breaking up the 4 into a 1 and a 3. Everything is plus, so the 2 root 3 just goes in the middle. Okay? And I, treat, I pretend this is a perfect square, which it kind of is, because 1 squared is 1. So if I make this a, a, a perfect square, we got 1 plus the square root of this number, which is root 3, and I say squared. So, these are all equal. The square root of a square is whatever's inside the bracket, so it's just 1 plus root 3, and there's your answer there. Now, to show, uh, to show this, I can do this. Okay, so 4 plus 2 root 3, and I'm getting, well, okay, hold on. Let's show you the number, 4 plus 2 root 3. But of course, we want to take the square root of that. That's not good enough. So it's the square root of 4 plus 2 root 3. And this is the number, 2.73205, blah, blah, blah. And is it really uh, equal to 1 plus root 3? 1 plus root 3 should give me the same answer. And it does. Right? So we look at the 4 plus 2 root 3, it's the same answer as this. Okay? Alright. So hopefully that convinces you that these are the same answer. Uh, using just algebra and trying to pretend this is actually a quadratic. Um, and it kind of works out. So um, some of this math, uh, you'll, you'll run into these sorts of mathematical weirdnesses in uh, advanced functions. And um, up until now, we just sort of told you to deal with it. But really, just using ordinary high school math and factoring a quadratic and using, perfect, using the concept of the perfect square, you can actually um, get at uh, square root expressions and simplify them.